The idea just came to me. I was interested in Chatham history. I've been here for almost two and a half years. And after, once I settled in, started looking a little bit, reading a few of the books about Chatham history. And I live right downtown where, of course, much of Chatham history took place, yep. certainly the initial history, Tecumseh, War of 1812, all the, the businesses that started downtown. So I said, huh, one thing I'm going to do is put on a Chatham, downtown Chatham history walk. Well, certainly some history is, I think, important because it, uh, it's Chatham, Kent, or southern Ontario, or just Ontario, just to know how things have changed over the years. If you can imagine, if you can imagine what it's like not to have electricity, uh, then it gives you a little bit more perspective on what it's like walking around looking at your mobile device the whole time. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, if we, if everything collapses, we have no more electricity. You're going to have to learn darn fast anyway, so <laughs> you really need to know the history of it. I think it's, 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 it's a good thing to look into, and it's an interesting thing to look into. Go to the website, theveranda.ca, T-H-E-V-E-R-A-N-D-A dot C-A, and what I do is right there, and up at the top is a link to The Veranda Presents. Click on that, and you'll find out the current event. And also you can sign up for a newsletter, which will tell you what the next event is, that sort of thing. And find out uh, social media, there's Twitter, there's Facebook, and I have regular posts about The Veranda Presents on there.